Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Sam from Historic Travels and welcome to another video. Okay guys, so hey, a couple of days ago I was just sitting around browsing YouTube when I came across this show called The Sean Ryan Show. Now I had never heard of this channel before, but it's huge. He's got millions of subscribers and it looks like that what he does is he just sits down and he interviews people. Now what drew me to this channel was the fact that he had a man on there by the name of Victor Vescovo and I had heard of him before, mostly due to the fact that he solo dived the Titanic a few years years ago. Yeah, you heard me right. This guy solo dived the Titanic. And after I began to research him a little bit, <laughs> this guy is insane, but in a good way. <clears throat> so Victor Vescovo has dived to some of the deepest places in the ocean, including the Marianas Trench, the deepest place in the world. He has summited some of the tallest peaks, like mountains in the world. He has been to bloody space. Did I just say bloody? Okay, I'm watching too much British TV. Anyway, but yeah, to say Victor Vescovo has achieved a lot in his life is an understatement. But what I thought was so crazy was in this interview he did on the Sean Ryan show, he said that diving the Titanic was one of the most deep was one of the most dangerous things that he had ever done. And he said it wasn't due to the depth of it. He has his own submersible, and he said a dive the Titanic isn't even considered deep for him. That's pretty crazy, right? But yeah, he just talked about how dangerous the wreck of the titanic is like whenever you're going around a wreck you could crash into something your sub could get tangled in wires like there's all kinds of hazards but he said what made it so dangerous was how dark it was down there and honestly i don't think most people truly appreciate how dark it really is down at titanic depths titanic is at a depth of roughly 3800 3900 meters around 12,500 feet and at those depths there is no sunlight there's no sunlight at all. So, I mean, the only light you have is what your submersible can give out. And the thing is, the darkness is so intense that it's like it absorbs the light that you're sending out. I mean, it's just, it's absolutely insane stuff. And he was describing what it was like when he dived Titanic. And I couldn't find any footage of this, but what I'm going to do for this video is I'm going to use the Titanic ROV game that came out a few years ago from the Magellan team. Well, the game's new, but the scan that they made came out a few years ago. So if you've never heard of Titanic ROV, it's a game that lets you explore the wreck of the Titanic using the Titanic scan that the Magellan team made a few years ago using around 700,000 individual photos of Titanic. That's how they made this giant model of the wreck that you can explore in the game. Now, I'm not going to be reviewing the game in this video. I've done that in other videos, and we actually did a live stream yesterday from the day that this video airs. If you would like to look at the game review or me playing the game live, I'll have links to those in the description. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to describe to you what he saw, and then I'm going to use the game to help you get an idea of what he saw, just so you can appreciate it. So he said that he dived down to the wreck and he landed at the bottom of the ocean around 300 meters or so away from the Titanic. They do that on purpose so you don't come down on top of it. That's actually a requirement to dive the wreck. Then he moved in the direction that he thought the wreck was in. And as you can see, it's just black. You can't see anything down there. Then when he got to about 100 meters out, he got a radar ping or sonar ping, okay? So that told him, okay, there's something over there. Like that's, I can't tell what it is, but there's a big object over there. So he starts moving in that direction. He gets to about 30 meters out. Now, from this far away, he should be able to see it, but he sees nothing. It's just black. And he's got really powerful lights on this sub, but he can't see anything. He's like, okay, starts inching his way closer and closer, gets to 20 meters out, still can't see anything. He can't see nothing at all. It's like, okay, goes a little bit more forward, gets to five meters out, still can't see anything. And he's like, okay, what is going on? I am literally right on top of this, whatever it is. If I move a little bit more forward, I'm going to hit something. Then he's like, wait a minute, what if I go up? What if I go up? And then as he started to ascend off of the seafloor and go up, his lights started hitting porthole windows and the glass was reflecting the light back at him. He's like, oh. So he was actually coming in on the Titanic from the ship's side, not from the bow, like what most submersibles do when they want to get that. They call it the money shot, you know, passing over the bow like that. So he was coming up onto it from the side, and he almost crashed right into the Titanic. And then as he was rising up, he said a current caught his sub and almost knocked him into the wreck. So, I mean, it's incredibly dangerous. The darkness is very disorienting. And the other big thing that, like, caught me by surprise is he said that you get a much better 
in the interview, Victor said you get a much better look at the wreck from using the scan of the Titanic you can get online than going to the wreck yourself because you've got a very tiny little viewport. And it's he described it like you're looking through a tube, you know, trying to analyze the Titanic wreck. So you get a much better look at it from looking at pictures and scans at home. That's what he's trying to say. Now, don't get me wrong. I would still love to see Titanic with my own eyes someday, which I hope I can. But yeah, it's absolutely insane stuff. And as he was describing this, I'm like, I don't think people really appreciate how dark and how overwhelming it really is down there and how easy it would be to get yourself into trouble. So yeah, I just thought I'd make this quick little mini video to talk about this interview. I'll post a link to it in the description if you'd like to watch it. But yeah, it's crazy stuff. And I hope you learned something from this short little mini video. As I said, if you would like to check out my review of that game, link for it in the description. If you would like to check out the live stream we did yesterday where I explore the wreck and talk about it, another link for that in the description. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this mini video and I will see you all in the next one. Have a great day, everybody.